was able to locate your position. Or comms to the beginning of malfunction and shut down. Massive service disruption throughout the entire base. I don't know how long I'll be able to track you. Bravo team has just entered the end program. Pick up the pace. You aren't far behind. Try to get an uplink into the main system. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the armament division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. Well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so... I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. Guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security port in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. Chief Abrams, end of log.
Base schematics show all passages out of your area blocked. The only way through is by traversing the EFR, mechanical subsystem with two possible route routes. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting systems are fried. Make a choice, Marine. Good luck. This is the audio log of Plant Manager Henry Nelson, dated October 24th, 2145. I don't know how I should report this, so I'll just talk about what I know and what I need. I've had quite a few employees reporting to me that they've heard strange sounds, like voices talking, calling them, even when they were alone. At first, I didn't believe them. The guys down here like to kill around, but they assured me they were serious. I ignored the stories at first, until one day, I heard something too. I was working on one of the lift-up service panels, and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, Over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely open. I looked around, but I didn't see another saw. I even checked the work logs, and no one else was working near that area. I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little spooked, and some of the guys were even talking about ghosts. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that a security team make a thorough check of the EFR area. Thank you. Henry Nelson.